Hello, Venu this side. I, I think many students WhatsApp in me. Hello, Venu. I am following this video. Uh, unfortunately, I am unable to connect this SQL workbench. Of course, this link also is not opening. Uh, like a SQL workbench download. If I search like this, not MySQL workbench, SQL workbench. This website link also it is not showing. How to download, how to configure, uh, please help me regarding this like that. Many people requesting me. Simple manner I am explaining. To be frankly, this SQL workbench, what happened recently, they restricted in, it is open in only USA, not in India. I think that's the issue. USA or other region, other places, not India. They restricted like that. That's why what the solution, I am giving one alternative way that is just in this youtube description i am sharing this link okay what are these drivers in the drives you have this sql workbench okay i am sharing this link this is available in this youtube description just right click it and download this okay and one more important thing java 11 is mandatory don't forget that in your local computer, just verify CMD. Okay. Okay. You must, if you open any other computer also. Okay. like um, java version you must use java 11 only don't use any java other latest versions okay minimum java 11 is required okay that's why what are you doing right now please download that link after download this next process that Okay, next to what happened, this is my recommendation, copy this and place in any folder, anywhere it's fine. That may be either C drive, D drive or E drive like that. Okay, maybe big data within the C drive. Just write, just copy this. My recommendation, right click and uh, extract two. You have, you know, extract two workbench. Please note, seven zip only, you have to use only seven zip extract two workbench. Okay, then what happened, you will get this. Here, what happened, last but one. Last but one, copy this. Right click, right click and create a shortcut. Create a shortcut, okay. Now, this link, please paste in your desktop. I already completed this. Okay, now, if you double click this, what happened? Automatically, it is pop up. Java 11, if you don't have, it is not opening, you will get error. Okay. You will get like this. Now, I want to connect to Oracle. At the time, what happened? Please note, I already shared this link. I already shared this link. Click this link and uh, download. Okay. Above, there is a driver icon and download. My recommendation. Why after five minutes you will get one idea. If you open this SQL workbench, maybe I want to connect MySQL. MySQL at the time MySQL here driver driver. How to use here? You have MySQL driver. Now 95% you will get one pop-up pop-up box. Click that pop-up box, you will get like this. What is that meaning? Hey man. MySQL, there is no any dependencies. Like that, you are getting a small warning. That's why here, what are you doing? Browse. Browse. Just now, I shared, uh, you downloaded something, uh, this, uh, you know, drivers folder. The drivers folder, right click and extract this. 
if you right click and extract you will get all these files in that in that drivers folder you have these jars these jars okay now browse browse here my sql you are connecting so my sql okay enter that then what are the credentials if you don't know i think in e, I, I am using aws in that aws go to this mysql i think here i have different different databases go to this mysql in that mysql here i have endpoint endpoint means a host name so here don't replace everything just to replace only this host name okay next port number what is port number if you don't know this is port number 3306 3306 next what is the database here you have configuration tab in that configuration tab what is the database here you mention my sql db just mention what is the username my user My you I think you know that credentials. Okay. Here you created. Don't don't forget to enter auto commit. These credentials. Okay, now test. If you are if you get like this, that's okay. If you are not getting like this, if you get any error, only two reasons only two reasons what is that here security go to this tab here public accessibility must be yes must be yes okay second reason go to this default go to this default okay go to this security group here edit inbound rule here please add this port number mysql i already added if not click this role click here mysql i want to connect my sql then i want to change to 0000 then you are able to connect anyway okay now you are able to connect after if it is connecting like this now save this save click ok Click OK. Okay. If you left hand side, you are not getting this option, go to tool, show DB tree. Show DB tree. If you click that left hand side, you will get this. Okay. In that way, you are able to connect. If you are unable to connect, only two reasons that is security group. In that security group, you are. Done. In that security group, add that port number. Okay. And the second, similarly, okay, add that port number. That is for, uh, that is uh, main important thing. Similarly, how to connect MySQL, sorry, Oracle or MSSQL or any other database? That is also same. How go to RDS? That's also 95% same. One more important thing. In my in this video earlier, that video just explained uh, what it is uh, uh, what is this Oracle, how to connect this Oracle, just explain only that information. But nowadays in this RDS, Oracle is not free. Only MySQL, MSSQL, these databases only free. Okay, let me explain all these databases. 95% is same. Here, MSSQL, that is also same. Click that. Here, public accessibility. Notice this is the best example. You are unable to connect this. You are unable to connect. Why public accessibility? No. If you have like this mistakenly at the time above, there is a modify. Modify. Click this modify. Okay. And maybe you forgot password. That is also you can do it. For example, you forgot password or public accessibility mistakenly. I choose no or any other reason. In this scenario, what are you doing? Just add a few important, just to modify that. For example, you forgot password. 
Then what happened? Here, give something new password. New password. Similarly, here, I forgot to public access building at the time. Click this. Somewhere here, you have public access. Back up another example. This is also important. You will get bill. Change to zero. Backup must be zero. Similarly, additional configuration. In that additional configuration, public accessibility must be yes. Okay. Like that, please modify. Then connect. Now, what happened? These two I am changing. Apply this setting immediately. That is that mean. Otherwise, it is impossible to connect. Okay. So, if you want, let me check. Still, it is modifying. Still, it is modifying. That, okay. Uh, just a minute. Otherwise, it's not possible. Still, it is showing public house. No, you know. Why? It is unable to connect. If you want to try, maybe file, connect a new window, new, here. Maybe what I can. Here, what happened? You have host name. Replay this host name. Sorry. Is it MS SQL or what I if you don't know, is it MS SQL or Oracle? Please check above engine. SQL server. This is not Oracle. This is MySQL. Sorry, MS SQL. Microsoft SQL server. Okay. In that Microsoft SQL server, here it is showing different, different things. Don't worry. Just uh, instance name, server name, both are same. Followed by what is this port number? What is the port number? Port number is nothing but here 1433. What is this property value? Property value later I will get you. Don't worry. Okay. After five minutes, I will get you. Don't worry. Similarly, what are the credentials? My MS user. I think these credentials, when you are creating all these, you will get that. Now test. Is it connecting means 95 percentage? No. No. Why? First of all, there is no any database here. Of course. In EW, here also there is a configuration. In that configuration, there is a there is no DB name. Notice, MS user correct. I agree. This is called uh, it's not connecting. MS user correct password also correct. But problem is, it is unable to connect. Why damning this? And yeah, public accessibility. I choose no. Still, it is modified. Still. It is modified. Notice, please check. Still, it is modifying. So, it will take little time. Okay. If modification, everything completed, back end, it is modifying. There is a TTL, time to lie. It will take little time. If public accessibility changed to yes, sir, then it's connecting perf perfectly. Similarly, check the security group. In that security group, please add that port number as a MSSQL port number. Otherwise, it is not working. Go to this. Go to edit inbound rule. Edit in inbound rule. There is a MS SQL. Okay, go to this add rule. Search here MS. Click that MS. So 0, 0, 0, 0. That's it. Then what happened? Automatically, you are able to connect. You are able to connect right now. Okay, now is it connecting MS SQL? If a public activity is changing to yes, then only it is able to connect. If it is not converting to public activity, this one, it is impossible to connect. Still, it is modifying, just wait a few seconds. Then, if it is converting to yes, ah, yes, it is publicly accessible. Now, try one more time. Test. I think it's connecting. Okay, it is changing to yes in public accessibility, but still back and running. Still, okay, background. If you want to go to this, available uh, type. I think refresh right now. Only two reasons. If you are unable to connect, means only two reasons. That is public accessibility, yes, and security group, that one. That's it. Okay, now try why it is not connecting. Okay, that's it. It's connecting right now. Okay, 
Next, what happened? Just enter like this. Next, create database. Maybe we know DB like that. Create one database. Run. After that, after that, how to connect this database? To be frankly, in MySQL, how you connected? Slash that database name. But MS SQL, not like that. This is MS SQL. This is not like that. Here, you have to mention database name is equal to five. Five minutes back, you notice, you know, key value, key value, key value. This Why you got it? This is the reason. Now, test, test means is it connecting? And save this. If it is connecting, click on this save. Then, okay. Now, run any SQL queries here. You are doing everything within this venue DB, right? In this ODB table. Here only it is created. In that way, you are connecting MSS. Similarly, how to connect a uh, Oracle? Oracle also same. Please click this Oracle. Here, public access, yes. Okay. Now connect to Oracle. Click that. Click that. Find, connect, new Oracle. Okay. Next, here Oracle. Here, just to replay this post name. What is the port number? Port number 1521. What is the database name? If you don't know, go to configure. Here you have Oracle DB is a database name. Okay. In case you don't know what is the database. Okay. If you know, okay. If you don't know, don't worry. Even if you not mention this, that's not creating a problem. Okay. Next, what is the username password? This is O user. Username. O password. Auto commit. Test. If it is connecting means security group, everything correct. Refuse the connection. Why? Okay. The main reason, usually if you are unable to connect to me, only two reasons. Okay. Just a minute. It is connecting right now. I for, uh, this is, I forgot to mention database name. That's why. Okay. Now don't forget to enter auto commit. That's one more important. And click this save. Okay. Now click okay. Now you are able to connect. Okay. If you want to run any SQL queries, okay. If you are unable to connect to me, check this security group, add that port number. Only two reasons public activity, yes, security group. That's it. Now maybe you want to practice. Okay. Uh, just uh, I'm giving this link also in this YouTube description. Maybe you want to practice what I can. Then what happened? Here, different, different, different type of. Okay. This, copy all these things. Maybe this is your racket. Set up all this thing and run. Okay. If you enter all these things, what happened now? Left hand side, there is a refresh button. And of course, left hand side, if it is not showing this uh, bar, go to tools. Click on the show DB tree. Okay. Now, left hand side, refresh, refresh. Okay. Open one more tab. Yeah. Please check all these tables I have to type. Now, run set of staff and employee department, etc. etc. Few members, what happened? They forgot to this auto commit. That is also highly recommended. Don't forget that. Now, run any escort queries. Now it's working. Understand? I think you got one clarity. Okay. In that way, please install and practice. If you, and one more thing, in your local computer, must install Java, otherwise it's not working. That is also one more important thing. Okay. Java 11 minimum required. Java 8 is not working. Okay. In that way, please practice. If you have any doubts, just a maximum WhatsApp me. I will try my loudest. One more important thing. Oracle nowadays is not free. Okay. Oracle is not free. MySQL, MS SQL, other databases, only free. So that's it. Today, that's it. If you have any doubts, 
please comment below in this YouTube description. I will try my longest to answer your queries. Okay.